In today's video, we're going to be customizing, reviewing, as well as take out the new Grotti Turismo Omaggio on the racetrack. Anyways guys, let's move on to the auto shop and customize the vehicle. But first things first, let's get all the performance upgrades first. Anyways, now on to the customization and for the bumpers, front bumpers, we're gonna go with the forged carbon performance splitter. For the rear bumpers, we're gonna go with the forged carbon overlays. And for the exhaust, we're going to go for the titanium exhaust. For the rear spray, we're going to go with Torino Red. And then from there, for the roofs, we're going to go with the forged carbon roof. So for the skirts, we're going to go with the forged carbon track skirts. And then for the splitters, we're going to go with the forged carbon overlays. And now onto the spoiler and we're going to get the street SPL wing. And now onto the livery and we're going to go with the Omaggio touring stripes. For the trunk, we're going to go with the forged carbon overlay. And of course, we're going to get limo tints. For the wheels, we're going to go with the super luxe wheels. We're gonna color it black. And of course, we're going to get bulletproof tires. And with that, we are done with the customization of the Omashu and I'll see you guys outside. Anyways guys, before we move on to the review, let's see how it looks and at the same time how it sounds. Anyways, now let's move on to the review and starting off with the acceleration as always. So the Grotti Turismo Omaggio, let's just call it the Omaggio, is a four-wheel drive car. And from that, we know that the acceleration is going to be good and it does not disappoint because it launches off the line pretty good and after that, it accelerates very, very well all the way to the top speed. So this is one of those few cars which actually pull all throughout the rev range so you have no problem going out of corners, going into corners, and as well as in the streets. So when it comes to the acceleration, I'll give it an above average score because it is very good. Now moving on to the top speed and again over here, the top speed I'd say again is definitely above average. I don't know the exact number but I think it is still very fast. And not only that, but it actually does feel fast. So not much to say here, the Omaggio is honestly pretty good, it's pretty fast, so yeah, thumbs up from me. And now moving on to the handling and this is where the Omaggio really shines. And that is because it just grips up all the time. It has zero oversteer and understeer which makes it a very easy car to drive and handle. And not only that, but taking corners even at full speed is a breeze with this car. And on top of that, as a cherry on top, the brakes of this car are really good so you can be very aggressive when entering corners. Honestly guys, according to me, I'd say that the Omaggio is one of the best handling cars in all of GTA Online. I'd even say that it even rivals the Emirates and the Krieger because it is honestly that good. So when it comes to the handling of the Omaggio, I'm gonna give it an amazing score. And now on to the track test and as well as the conclusion and starting off with the conclusion. So where do I begin? The Omaggio, it's a new car. It was just released just uh, an hour ago or two hours ago. But it has already made me very happy and I am also at the same time really impressed with how this car is. When it comes to the performance, it is just mind-blowing. It is one of the best cars in GT Online according to me. Probably even one of the fastest for racing. And not only that, but it also looks really, really good. And not only that, again, but the customization allows you to make it go from a simple looking car to a very aggressive or maybe an off-road oriented car. And that is just amazing. Anyways, so do I have any complaints with this car? Well, not really. I don't have any complaints. So far, I've been loving this car and yeah, it is just almost flawless or maybe even flawless. And that is because it is so easy to drive. I feel like basically anyone, even a person who just started playing GD Online, can just take the Omaggio and just drive it and have a lot of fun with it. And not only that, but it is also easy to race with because, well, it's it, it does all the work for you, right? So, yeah. And not only that, but again, it is very fun to drive, be it for racing or in the city or the outskirts. It is just an all-round package which, well, ticks all the boxes. 
And now we come down to the big question and that is, is it worth it? At 2.8, let's just say almost 2.9 million dollars, I'd say that the Umaju is, well, actually worth it. Because not only are you getting a car that performs very well and is in the top 1%, but you can also make it your own because the customization is very good and of course, it is just a beat to drive. So if you're looking to buy a new car right now and you have the money to spend, I'd say that the Imagio is basically it. Anyways guys, enough of that. Let's move on to the track test. And well guys, after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 2 minutes and 52 seconds, which is just mind blowing. It is just one second or less than a second short of the Emirates' time on this track. And if that doesn't tell you that it's amazing, nothing will. And now on to the drag race and basically what we do here guys is we race in a straight line until we finish the race. And well guys, after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 29.6 seconds which again is really good for a supercar. And with that I guess we are done with the review of the new car, the Grotti Turismo Omaggio. A car that is definitely worth looking at and definitely worth buying. Anyways guys, with that I guess we are done with the video. I hope you liked the video. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment down in the comment section and subscribe to the video. And well guys, I'll see you guys next time.